Hi, in today's session we are learning to divide one complex expression by another complex expression. What do I mean by complex expression is it contains more than one terms. Okay, so here we have an expression which is x square plus 11x plus 30 which needs to be divided by x plus 6. So the first step in doing division of complex expressions is to arrange both the expressions in the descending order of their powers or in the descending order of the indices of the variables. Right? So since already we have the expressions arranged in the descending order of powers of variables, so we need not to do rearrangement of the terms of the expression. Here as we can see the first, uh, first term of the first expression, the first term of the dividend is x square and second term is 11x. So x square has higher index or higher power of x and in 11x the power of x is only 1. Right? And the last term is a constant without any variable. So the power of variable is 0. So this is definitely in the descending order of powers of variables. Similarly in the second expression the divisor first term is x and second term is a constant. So I think you can conclude that this is also arranged in the descending order of powers. So now let's start division. This is also called the long division method. I think this is very familiar to you. I have made the sign and then I'll write the dividend over here which is x square plus 11 x plus 30 right and it has to be divided by x plus 6 right so what is the procedure of doing division using this method you see the first term of the divisor here the first term of the divisor is x and then you see the first term of the dividend the first term of the dividend is x square right now you find how this x can be converted into x square so if we multiply the x of divisor by x we will get the first term of the dividend so x multiplied by x is x square and since I have written this in the quotient area the area where quotient is supposed to be written I have to multiply this x by this 6 also because this plus 6 is also a part of the divisor. So when the whole divisor gets multiplied by x we will get x square plus 6x right and in normal division what we do after this after this we do subtraction. So this thing is supposed to be subtracted from the dividend right so let's do subtraction. So when we subtract we have to change the sign of the subtrahan. So this x square is positive so it will be become negative all the signs will change and this 6x is also positive so this will also become negative and now we have to perform the addition. So this x square and this x square will get cancelled will result in 0 and 11x minus 6x will be 11 minus 6 that is 5x right and now what we do in normal division in the next step we note down the next term so here also I'll note down plus 30 right and now I'll repeat the same procedure over here also so now our first term is 5x which we are supposed to get by multiplying something to x plus 6. So what can be multiplied to x plus 6 to get our first term as 5x? We have to multiply it by 5, right? So when 5 gets multiplied to this divisor, it will give us 5 multiplied by x that is 5x and plus 5 multiplied by plus 6 will give us 5, 6, uh, 30 right and now again 
we have to subtract. So this 5x will become minus 5x and this plus 30 will become minus 30. 5x minus 5x will get cancelled. Plus 30 and minus 30 will also get cancelled giving us 0 as remainder. And what is the quotient? This is our quotient. Right? So when x square plus 5x plus 30 is divided by x plus 6, this gives us x plus 5 as quotient. So this is one method of division. I think you have understood. And this is the most commonly used method of division. In the next video, in division 5, I am taking one more similar example but a little bit complicated expressions. So I think that will help you to understand this procedure better.